Hey there, my Warcraft thing wizards. Today I'm buzzed and I'm not even a bee. Uh, today we're gonna do a new series where I'm gonna take one of my oldest designs I've ever made, like at the beginning of time when I started learning web design, and we're gonna remake it. I even have the video on it on YouTube. Let me just pop it up here. So as you can see, it's quite basic, quite minimal. So I kind of want to see like what I can achieve now in like 15 to 20 minutes, see if I can pull off a better design. Oh, and by the way, if you want to send your design through and if you want me to remake it, I started a Discord community in the description. Check out the merch community. Sign up, come have a chat with me, and let's get going. Okay, so looking back at the original design, we can see it's it's quite simplistic. That's like my main problem with it. Like these circle elements don't really do much. They're blurred out for what reason? I have no idea. I thought it would look cool. That's what we got. Probably my favorite part about this design is the actual logo that I made. So that's as far as we got. Everything else is just too simplistic. So I think I like what I really want to do is add more like moving elements to it, like a wave or a background move, because music makes you feel stuff, right? Hope so. Uh, <laughs> so that's how we're gonna try to illustrate it. Usually when I create a web design, I just try to see like what kind of feeling I get from something and then try to convey that visually somehow. So I'm heading here to Wix Studio if you wanna join. Check out the link in the description. I'm gonna create a new website right here. All right, cool, so we are in Wix Studio. So the first thing I wanna do, uh, feel the music, I mean, that's fine, but it's a bit too short, it doesn't really give you anything. So I'll, I'll make a new one. I experience music in real time with others. That's, I like that, that's sketchy. Okay, so let's take this, we'll expand this section out right there. Cool. So I'll just make this, do some adjustments, make the font a bit bigger, maybe like 656 or something. And I'll also pick a nice font for this. Now we want to like give the user something that they really like, why should we get the service? Well, let's say you have high res flag audio on your streaming service. So we'll just advertise that. All right, we're gonna keep this to 24. The line height, as you can see, is a bit, it just looks a bit too tight. So what we can do here is uh, let's change this to 18, make it a tad bit smaller. This can go a bit smaller as well to maybe like 48, like that. And what we want to do here is just make a bit more space in between the text. That's a bit too much if you ask me, but two, maybe a 2.5, give it a bit of space, that looks nice. Now we should also apply this to the heading here, and that might be actually a bit too funny looking. So let's change that to 1.5, there we go. Let's bring it down. I'll kind of just kind of bring everything down to the center. And now here on the side, what we usually want to do is have a, an element of interest. So if we head over and check it out, like Tidal has this little image here on the side. I think Apple has something else. Let's, let's have a quick look, see what they do. They might not even do anything. They, oh, they just have the icon. Cool. But I do like this style here. So what I'll do is I'll take a couple of pictures from my Spotify app and I'll just import it here. Now let me show you something cool you can do in Wix Studio. We can head over here to Media and Transparent Video and let's just drag one in. Look how cool is that? You can add a custom one and import it. But they also have quite a couple already added. So if I search music, for example, I found this really cool vinyl player here. So I'll just expand this out. I'll expand it back down and we'll position it right here in the middle. And then we can just kind of size it up. This is a bit like, usually you don't also wanna have the text kind of expanding randomly. So have it make sense. So in this case, I'll just align it to the text here like that. And if this still looks off for you, it might be because this, either the size is not good or the spacing is not good. So in this case, I feel like the spacing is too much. So I'll do two, that looks a bit better. And you know what, like the actual size is, does fit quite well, actually. <laughs> that was the only bad bit of it, to be honest, the, the actual line height. Let's also add a button here, like send. Drop this in the middle like that. Let's expand this a tad bit to match the text right there. I, I tried to add like a music icon here. I don't think it looks good at all. So let me just see if maybe like a little arrow could be good or like a subscription icon. Let's see if we can find something. I ended up changing my mind. I got rid of the little play icon. It looks just cleaner like this. Now, again, I, I want to give this movement 
Uh, if we play the video, we already have some movement with this playing, so that's cool. But this background is just a bit too boring. So check this out. We can just head over here to media, and I'll show you a trick where you can blend text together with the background. So go here to filter by, we'll choose videos, and I'll say uh, gradient like that. All right, that's a lot of interesting gradients. Let's just pick one and see kind of how it looks. That looks pretty cool. Um, kind of has that noise effect as well to it. Now check this out. I can go to my text here and I'll head over here to the code section. Say start coding. This will set up developer mode for us so we can add CSS, we can add JavaScript and whatever else we want. But for now, all I'm going to do is just click this global CSS icon here and I'll click one of the texts here. Okay, and as you can see here at the bottom, you can just select rich text, and that is this text right here. So here, what we're gonna do is say mix blend mode, and we're gonna change this over to color dodge. That disappeared because our text is pure white, so what we need to do is just add a tint of gray to it. Uh, it's gonna allow the background color to come through. So let's grab this, and I'll just change it to maybe the middle gray right here. And as you can see, you get the nice fill in when the colors change. Maybe this background doesn't change too frequently, so I'll see if I can find a different one. There's this one here that seems to have a bit more color, so let's give that a go. Let's hit play. And there we go, check this out. That's super cool. Look, it changes to blue as well. All right, and one more thing I wanna do is add some kind of grit to it uh, because it looks a bit too, too clean. So what I'll do is head down here apply a pattern to it, and we're gonna do this uh, second one right here. As you can see, it just adds those points and this grit to it. Uh, it just helps bring this design a bit together. I think I'm gonna also like this to be on three lines, so I'll just move it down like that, and then bring this up, okay? And then actually now that we have it on three lines, I can increase the font size of this like that. And now that we have again extra space, you can also choose to increase the size of your vinyl here. So I'll just scale it up slightly to fill up the empty space. For the logo, I just added another text here and I changed the opacity as well to, to be gray here. Let's grab this heading tree. I'll add some more text here. Again, I'm just trying to push it, advertise it as much as possible. So something like get the ultimate music experience, advertise how many podcasts you have. Again, like the problem I had with this design here, if we have Ready. a look, the second page here, the card system that I had showed like, oh, you can discover music on our application. Here's four albums, by the way, that's all you got. So <laughs> that didn't really show it too well, did it? Uh, and then you just have a couple of random icons here. Look, they're squished together. They don't even look good. So what I thought like a better approach would be to actually show the application. So actually show the phone with the app. You can have a video on it. I think that's a bit more like obvious of like what to expect from it. Uh, so what I ended up doing is I went on Google and I searched up phone PNG, I, iPhone PNG or something like that. You can find this cutout version of it. So I just uploaded this and then I took a couple of screenshots like a minute ago. Um, <laughs> so I'll just upload this and see if we can pull it off. So let's minimize this for now. And what I'll do is go here to the plus icon and we'll go over to media. So we're gonna go to a single image and we're gonna pop this in. Again, let's make some more space. So I'll expand this section out, give it a bit more height. That looks great. Okay, so let's change this image, upload, and we are gonna upload the phone. Now that the phone's uploaded, I also uploaded three Spotify images. Just took a screenshot of my phone. That's that, as simple as that. So let's import this phone. I'll expand it and expand it back. There we go, that looks good. Cool, so that's one image. Now what we can do is just copy paste this over. Let's take the second image and I'm gonna change it over to the lyrics here. Like that, cool. So what we can do is just hit this arrow here and size it back down and then it's gonna rescale nicely for us. So let's just kind of place it in the middle for now. And what I like to do is just start scaling it up a tad bit like that, okay? Let's try to find the position on top of it. Let's move this text out of the way and then just group it together. Now that we have this grouped up, well, we can make two more copies, right? So one and two. I mean, you gotta make sure that the border is on top. So make sure you just 
align them properly here. So this one again, this one needs to go on top right there. Now that we have these three boxes, I can take them, I can align them easily just by clicking these icons here. Let's bring them a bit down like that and we can optionally also scale them up. Cool, I'm happy with that. Now we can start animating this. So let's head over for the vinyl first. And what we're gonna do is head over here to the lightning. Oh, it's spicy. Um, and then here, what we're gonna do is add a scroll animation to it. So what I wanna do is do from its design here and choose arc. And now what we can do is I want this to look normal at the beginning. So we'll start off at 50. And as you can see, when we scroll down, that's when it starts moving up like that. Now we can again shorten it. So you have this little indicator here telling you kind of what's going on. So you can like choose when to start this and when to end this. So I can have that at 60 and then it just looks like nothing's happening to it. But as soon as I scroll past the 60, that's when it's gonna start animating in. So have a look at this. Oops, you gotta make sure you stay on this page, otherwise it's you're not gonna be able to see the preview. So there we go, you can see that going in now. You can try horizontal, that might look cool actually as well. That looks really cool, I actually prefer horizontal. So there we go, cool. Now for this text, let's grab this, we're gonna also do a scroll animation. And for this one I just wanted a fancy reveal. So let's see, which one would be great here? One that I really like is the shape. So if we go here to the adjustments, as you can see, it just kind of reveals itself from the center. Uh, if we do the intensity a bit higher, then it's gonna start from zero like that. Now you can do circular if you want. This diamond one's really cool because the shape is a bit unconventional. Kind of does look like the apple effect a little bit. There we go. And when do I want it to end? Well, maybe a bit more like 60 down. So like 70 down, let's see. Let's keep increasing this until it looks good. There we go. So once we're down here, it should be all revealed. As for the image, as for the images, check this out. We can actually give it a 3D looking effect. If we head over to scroll and pick 3D spin here, we're gonna go to adjustments. And as you can see, there it is. Now that's a bit too much, of course. Uh, but if we take the speed and lower it to zero, it's, it's getting there, we're getting closer. What I wanna do is just reduce this to like 40. So 40% 40 down the page, this should all be animated in. Maybe even like 35. Let's do 35, so whilst we scroll, oops, make sure you click on this, or just go to preview mode here at the top. That's gonna activate it as well. Okay, let's see. Scroll down. And there we go, cool. So we're just gonna basically apply this effect to the rest of them. Check this out, for the middle image here, I'm just gonna move it up, okay? Let's just move it up a bit like that. All right, and then we're gonna pick parallax here. And for the design here, I'm gonna pick 0.1-ish. Something like that. Like, that actually matches almost perfectly, that's so funny. Um, if you move the speed here, this is just gonna adjust the like parallax effect. If you do something like 0.1, that's enough for it to still be parallax, but also to kind of end up back in the same position. So let's give this a go. This is so exciting. Let's have a look. Let's scroll down. There we go. We got the reveal and the slide as well. So now looking side by side, comparing the two different designs. Yeah, you know what, I'm much happier with this. It's more fun. You can actually see what's going on. It has more personality to it. So that's a win for me. Let me know what you think. Send your design through if you want me to recreate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Drop a sub, drop a like. Peace out. Poor plant.